Okay, for accessing a container's logs, it's pretty straightforward. So if I come in and do Docker PS, we can see the containers that I have running. So that is the uh, KBE REST Brewery, the Spring Boot application that is running for Kubernetes. So if I grab this uh, ID, and if I just do Docker logs, like so, you can see that I, I'm getting the uh, logs for that. And I could, if I was uh, interested in tailing that, I could do minus F, and then it would sit there, and if any new log data came up, I'd, I'd get that. However, in a Kubernetes context, I like clear this, you might be working with a Kubernetes cluster, and you might not be on that uh, node where Docker is running. So remember, when we deploy Kubernetes in a production environment, we're going to be dealing with multiple servers that are going to be running Docker and containers and whatnot. So you won't have that, be able to just jump into a node like that. Fortunately, for Kubernetes, we can easily see the same log data. So I can do kube control get all. And the set command shows me the pod that I'm interested in. So what I can do here is I'm, I'm just copying this, this pod identifier. And this would work with any pod in the cluster for Kubernetes. So what I can do is, again, you know, kube control. I can say logs. I can say tail equals 20. And then pass in the name of the pod. And that will provide, provide the log information inside the log. And then also I could do minus F to follow if I want to, to follow logs. So you can see here that I'm on the screen. And if there's any new log information, that would be initialized here. Uh, unfortunately, we, we don't have anything outputting log data. The container is just up and running and waiting for uh, requests. But if I did have activity that I wanted to monitor, I, I would be able to do it through this utility. So let me clear that. So again, the, those commands are cube control logs minus F to follow, or you can do a minus tail equals 20 or ho however many last few lines that you want from that. Uh, and I, that is also optional, so you don't need to give that. You can uh, omit that, hit that, and then it's just gonna show you uh, the log data. And I, I'm not, I'm honestly not sure what the, the default there is. So it is going to show you a screen full of log data uh, without that. So pretty handy utility to see the logs of your application running inside the container.